It's hard to describe the gift-giving narcissist. It takes a certain kind of meditation because <clears throat> it's one of the mo more covert versions, but dangerous, is the gift-giving narcissist. I'll post some other, I'm not making this information up, we have studies going on, and unfortunately you can notice these people. So, um, now, what we can associate them with and what they associate themselves with, we can see, is arenas where they, they, they can be known to donate into it. They're, they don't care about what they're helping. They care about how they look. Now, keep listening. This is the truth about why they gift give. Has nothing to do that they have a genuine care or compassion or empathy for the need there and they're giving to it. No. They have a complex of, say, it makes them feel superior somehow. They won't show that. This is the covert part. They are making themselves look good. Because why? Well, they did a good deed. In narcissism, we'll find it's like there is a who can be nicer contest. And it becomes like overly perfectly human. I mean, it is so human, it's not human. You know what I mean? It's like they're, they're being nice over being real. So getting back to these people that pose as being nice gift givers who have zero capacity to put themselves in other people's shoes, what they're doing is making themselves look good. And they stand there, and, and one of the things they'll do, eventually you'll see it, because there is something very dirty about if you start receiving from the gift-giving narcissist. It's just tainted with their toxicity. And so eventually, you know, you're going to be picking up on that and you're going to notice and this person really doesn't have very much respect for me. Not really. They're not capable and they aren't, they aren't really capable of caring at an empathic level that is genuine. They're not there for you, in other words. They are there for them. The ones that are also donating to churches and to whatever organization, and they kind of post it on Facebook. Um, same thing. It's it's just I have one up on you. Many, you're not you don't you don't give to people, so you don't you're not good enough for me. And what else? See all of this, and in your one on one, when you find that you have somebody who's a little bit more than human, I mean it's just it's off the charts. You know, come on, the nicey nice game, and you don't really you're you're not even emotionally available. So what eventually happens, you, you're you going to show some human quality. You're going to say, you know what, you, you know, fuck you. They'll say, they'll say immediately, they'll, just, they'll start saying, oh, you know what, you know what, uh, you're ungrateful. You're very ungrateful. This is it. This is it. You know, I helped you. I did things for you. And this is the treatment I, I get. This and this. And now look, and they make sure to start grinding. That's for sure. The gift giver narcissist. Very dangerous people because they're undermining your, see, why do you need them there? You know, you, you, they're going to make you dependent somehow, codependent. Really, it's there. Some of them can be codependent. A lot of people misunderstand what codependency is, but to become reliant on them and and then if you start expecting then they're going to turn you into a codependent because they won't really show up. Not really. They'll keep you kind of waiting for a human response and you're not going to get it. And then it makes you hunger. And then you start 
hey, didn't we have something? In the, and it's like, and they create you just to grab and say, and that's what codependency is. It's just, come on, I'm waiting for something human from you. Ugh. And um, so, yeah, I hope you got the gist of the gift giver narcissist. I'll find information here that will give you a, a detailed, um, amazing, like more in depth. It's amazing what some, what, the layers and layers you can peel out off and, and, and observe behind their intentions and what's really going on. Um, because if you're if you're listening to real life studies about it, there's narcissists who think that they know, know what they're talking about and they will never hit it. But it's like, oh, no, that's it. See, the narcissist is not somebody who loves themselves so much that um, no, they don't really have very much self-worth in them at all. So the game that they play is coming from that place of not really having much there to begin with. They are creating this. If they're a gift giver narcissist, they could be running uh, a... Um, an elaborate, what do they call those? It's like a, um, a fundraiser, and it's like the fundraiser costs more than what they'll be raising all the time that's happening. And what are they doing? They're just there to make themselves look good. That's all. To themselves. And of course, they do it enough, 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 enough. You can see it. Donate here, donate there, donate there, because they can. And because they can, they're far more superior than you. They're the first ones to say, you know, you're just not a contributor to society. You, you don't care. You don't care. The gift. And, and the, see, I, I'll post information right here that will get more in depth as to why they are the most dangerous out of them all. Besides for if you're getting into psychopathy, it's because they can um, undermine your needs and start to minimize you and then breadcrumb you and before you know it you can't really take care of yourself because you're relying on them and it's like an energetic stick they they stick you really get sticky sorry about my faces has been i've been making really um strange faces i hope that when Pluto gets away from the sun and being vaporized, I can um, try and be more conscious and stuff like this. All of a sudden, it's like, ah, ah, ah. happy Halloween.